I'm Louise and I am joined today by Leon Hurley, who has been playing Hitman. Hello, yes I have. I've, I've played Hitman. Would you like to tell me about Hitman? Well, it's, it's, I kind of want to say it's Hitman, which to a group of people will immediately go, I know what that means. And a, a bunch of people go, I've never played it. Well, it's, it's your thing. It's, oh yeah, I mean, I've played them all like since the first one. I've always loved the series. So essentially you are a Hitman, funnily enough, and the series has always had this thing. We go into a level, it's a slightly open environment, there's someone to kill, and there's a variety of ways of doing it. So you could just go in there with a big gun and shoot them. You might strangle a waiter and wear his clothes to deliver him poisoned sushi. Yep. You know, you find a security guard that gets you around the back where you can get a shot off with a sniper rifle. It's all that sort of thing. But the new game takes that to the sort of a much bigger level where instead of, you know, you might have like a house in the garden or a bit of a restaurant. This is like this Harris fashion show. Um, and it's it's huge, basically. So it's it's the size of, and this is, well, it's an enormous building. There's hundreds of people in it. Um, and the thing it does really well that Hitman always had is that you, you play it once, you make a terrible mess of it you kill everyone that's me yeah it's always me but you'll notice oh there's a waiter over there or there's a window over there or wonder what that guy's doing with the phone in the corner and you start to sort of work out routes and ways of doing it and there's just ridiculous amounts of options of outfits to wear windows to sneak in through every time you're playing it you're sort of unlocking not unlocking but sort of becoming aware of more ways of doing it and they've got a new thing they've introduced now called opportunities which are almost like mini missions so you might the the one we're allowed to talk about is you see a a model um doing some photos outside and people have previously commented on how you look a bit like the model you know it's funny the same yeah. bone structure and it's not the same barcode probably no not the same barcode no but uh, it'll go like oh if you if you want to track this opportunity say yes and you say yes and then it gives you like a series of little objectives that will okay. get you through to get your targets and get you out the other side so it kind of if you want lets you highlight a certain way of doing the level and in doing so, you'll uh, you'll find loads of other ways of doing it. So it's like you can like a really obvious one that it does in a tutorial is you pour rat poison in someone's drink. Uh, they get this Ill. is a tutorial where you're actually killing people. Actually killing people, yeah. So yes. it's, it's an audition for the ICA, so the International Contract Association. It's like a prologue level where where Hitman's like just starting off, you know, in his career. You know, not sure what to do, just left university or something. Yeah. But yeah, so you, you poison a drink, they run off to the toilet, and you can just sneak in behind them and just hold them in the bowl until they stop kicking. Pleasant. Yeah. Or you could put C4 behind the uh, you know the cistern and detonate it when they go in there if you don't want to be sort of too discreet. Yeah. Um, and it's just yeah, it's really funny. It's I say funny. It's like there's loads of just this comedy to it because it's so ridiculous. But at the same time, you there's moments where you feel like James Bond because you're so sort of confidently like walking through the level and like punching guards and like you know throat th throttling people and stealing their clothes. You come out the other side like you know, I am James Bond. Well, that's another thing you said that the 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 physicality of being you know Agent Forty Seven now is far more fluid there's yes. far more that you can do what kind of different things could you do than previous well before you basically you could shoot people and you could garrot them and that was it yep. but now you can you can subdue them if they're taking too long you snap their neck that's sort of a, a reiteration of a, a process there before but now you can basically like punch people you can hit them with spades and it's really sort of solid so you might walk up to a door and a guy go like you know you're not meant to be here and if there's no one around you can literally just lamp him in the face as hard as you can yeah and then just drag the body into the door like sort of looking around as if to sort of see if anyone's there but it's got that sort of immediacy to it like i was doing a level where i'd well i killed one of the targets got away from the security and it takes time for information to propagate so i was in an area where the alarm hadn't been raised yet but as i was walking down a corridor you hear a guard kind of going so he's wearing what, what kind of suit and, and he starts describing my suit and uh -oh. just as we walked past and without even like thinking about it i just punched him and bundled him in a box before anyone even had a chance to turn around and i was kind of like what? it's good that you have an outlet for these things <laughs> I'm glad you have an outlet for these things in terms of there's been lots of talk about the way hitman's going to be released so you played a paris yeah so okay. yeah got, it's got a really convoluted odd like um release structure but i think it could work because paris is so huge there's so much to do that i don't think you'll be sort of short of, of stuff to play around with so yeah. it's effectively effectively launching with the prologue on paris so that's a couple of tutorial missions and this enormous paris fashion show yep. and then so that comes out in march and that is uh, like 15 dollars. that's kind of called the intro pack and then from that point on in april there's an italy level which is like a small town may is morocco and then from that point on, there's monthly updates, which will include like Thailand, US and Japan, as well as these main levels. There'll be sort of contracts that'll be like different targets named in a the level. There'll be like daily challenges where they go, you got to kill that guy. And, and if you don't do it by the end of the day, he's gone. Yeah. Um, if you want, you can buy the whole thing for $60 when it's out or you can buy the intro pack uh, for $15. And then each subsequent level is $10 extra or $50 on top of the intro pack for everything. For the whole lot. Okay. Um, which is, yes, yeah, an odd way of doing it, but 
Paris, you know, looks like there's weeks of, of just mining it for things to do. So I don't think it'll be, it'll lose out for being episodic. No. So that price we've been given so far is 15 US dollars. They're saying that it'll be around the regional equivalent, which will probably be about 10 or 11 pounds in the UK. That's us for Hitman. If you want more information, check out the site. <laughs>